My son was a normal teenage boy. Outgoing, energetic, and happy. On the surface, Deborah Smith's son, Josh, was your typical child, but looks can be deceiving. As a mom, you think you know everything you know when your kids are doing good or bad, but I was really blindsided. Six, seven years ago before this all happened, it, this isn't gonna happen to me, not my family. In 2014, Smith's world turned upside down after finding out her 24-year-old son had a secret she never could have imagined. I had no idea, and that, I think, will haunt me forever. An addiction to heroin that would tear the family apart. She'll never forget the moment she found out Josh had OD'd. Any mother losing a child has to be the most traumatic thing that you could ever experience, and it was it was a horrible thing. But her trauma um, didn't end there. We took over where Josh left off. As she grieved, she had to remain strong. Her son left behind two kids of his own, Everett and Chase. Everett, who was an infant at the time, went to live with his mother, while Smith took in four-year-old Chase to raise as her own. Raising him is what I knew I had to do. And as any parent, I think that any parent would do what I did if, if they had the capability of it. Sadly, she's not alone. In fact, Tioga County Public Health has a name for families like hers. They call it grand family, meaning grandparents raising their grandchildren. It's a family dynamic on the rise right here in our own backyard. Doesn't skip anybody. According to the American Community Survey, in 2012, nearly 5% of households in Tioga County with children under 18 are grandparents raising their grandchildren. In 2017, that number rose to nearly 11.5%. That's more than a 100% increase in just five years. I can definitely say that in the last few years, we have seen a huge need um, come about of these families that just need extra assistance. Kylie Holichak with Tioga County Public Health says in many cases, opioids and other drugs are to blame. The trend up looks a lot like the trend of the increase of opioids, of opioid overdoses. A trend leaving many grand families needing help. They already raised their own children and to have to do that again, you know, being at whatever age um, could be difficult. So difficult. The Department of Public Health working with Tioga County allies in substance abuse prevention began hosting grand family events, showing these families there's help if they want it, and they're not alone. Part of the reason that we wanted to do this is to kind of reduce that stigma that it's okay, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It really hits home in a lot of ways for people to understand that it is happening here. Families not only in need of help, but healing. When you know that there's other people going through it, just to have that person to be able to talk with how they got through it can only help people. As Smith continues to grieve, all these years later. Just looking at my grandchildren and knowing that I have to be here for them. Josh can't be here for them, but you know, I'm here for them. Her son's spirit lives on in Chase. He's nine now and he's doing good. He reminds me so much of his father. He is um, a spitting image of him. Knowing while the pain may never go away, I was told that I was climbing an uphill hill mountain and I was never see the other side of it. She's setting an example of hope by sharing her story to help others. If I could say, I've been there, did that, this is how I got through it. If you just remember that they're a blessing and you'll get through this and, you know, hopefully you can make them learn from this experience and they not have to live through it hoping the grand family generation can end with her. But the story doesn't end there. Smith says her grandson Chase will be living with his mom this fall, who's now clean from her own addiction. In Tiger County, Jackie Prager, 12 News.